Well, a very good morning. Thanks for clicking on to the uh, monthly Outlook edition of Vogan's European Outlook for September. And indeed, it is a seasonal forecast as well. We're looking at uh, autumn 2015. So thanks for clicking on. Um, sea surface temperature anomalies look like this here. Overall, the summer has been pretty accurate from uh, MarvelGanWeather.com's point of view. Certainly, it uh, has been cooler and wetter as expected across particularly the northern half of the British Isles extending in through Denmark and Scandinavia and of course where the water temperatures have been well above normal uh, extending from the uh, off uh, Portugal through the Mediterranean drier soils we've seen the heat and the heat wave in response to that so the big question is is September going to follow in June July and August's um, you know cool wet theme well, I am forecasting a better September, uh, believe it or not. Water temperatures are starting to warm around the UK in response to the overall season um, because you tend to find that come September the water temperatures uh, are at their warmest and we are heating things up, especially with recent warmth around the British Isles. That has allowed the anomaly to come up and that uh, to me suggests that we're going to see uh, more original we're going to have a bookend effect and this is something that joe bastardi has pointed out for the u.s side of things that we had a, a great uh, may uh, across the united states we had a great april here across the uk and things changed around come may um to cooler and wetter uh, of course it was the coolest may since 1996 <laughs> But I do think that we are going to see similar, maybe not exact, but similar conditions to what we've seen back in April during the month of September. I think we're going to be dominated by more high pressure as opposed to low pressure. Yes, there is going to be cooler, wetter days, but I do think overall we're going to settle the overall pattern down for the month of September. And we should get plenty of good calm weather to speak about so it's going to be a good month i think to get outdoors perhaps have a barbecue where you've not had the chance this year so far because it's been so miserable uh, i do think that we have got better days ahead during the month of september cfs v2 by the way looks like this uh, for the 500 millibar height anomaly so the ridge is shown over uh, the northeast atlantic extending into the uk now what i want to point out is you notice this is opposite of what we've had pretty much all summer we've had the 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 trough exactly where that ridge is and where it's centered and of course we've had the ridge where there's more negative here if you can call it that across um, central and southeastern parts of europe but you can see here precipitation wise it is a wetter look in september down across the very areas that i've seen warm still drying the balkans extending up across much of uh, central europe here but the uh, one crucial aspect and i do agree with this is it's a drier look in september for the uk and for ireland which of course will be good news temperature wise yeah it's a bit of a hard call because sometimes under high pressure you tend to have cooler nights but it depends on how much moisture there is within the atmosphere a wetter air mass and warmer tends to be warmer by night time drier means it cools quicker um, under clear skies so it's going to be an interesting one to see that i think it is going to be a slightly warmer than normal september bear in mind that august even though it has been warm of late looks as if it's going to end average to slightly below average especially up across the northwest the areas that i've seen the coolest and wettest all summer long but i do think we briefly turn things around and I, I have to emphasize the word briefly because as we get into the month of October we start to see a weather pattern take hold sea surface temperatures I think will continue to warm during the month of September bearing in mind we've got a strong El Nino in place El Nino versus warm water surrounding the UK tends to lead to a wetter autumn and I do think it's going to be a wet autumn across the British Isles come November look at this here the floodgates open up <laughs> We'll have to wait and see, of course. November's a long way off, but I do think that we could have a very wet mid to late autumn. So drying out during the month of September, uh, allowing us to get a chance to get outdoors and enjoy the scenery. Um, but it looks as if we're going to turn things around. And with that weather pattern, I do think we're going to see warmer temperatures. This is October off the CFSV2, slightly warmer than normal across Scotland. Generally neutral, if you notice, though. 
This is for the month of November here. So while we increase the rainfall, we're also talking about warmer than normal temperatures as well because I think the westerlies are going to start to crank. We're going to have a lot of rain in the latter stages of the autumn. Now this is September through November. CFSV2 overall is looking at a wet autumn across the UK, extending into Norway, western flanks of Denmark as well. Generally dry across the heart of Europe, southern Europe, if you notice that here and you notice temperature wise it's neutral across the UK and Ireland but we're warmer than normal still across uh, Spain, France in the central Europe as well of course the ground is very very dry here and with warm water surrounding still tend to find that lag after a warm dry summer but in stark contrast look at the jams tape model here for the UK top left hand corner we've got drier than normal across the north wetter than normal across the, the south extending into the north of france then we've got a dry spain western and central mediterranean basin of course this is the whole autumn combined so what model do you believe that's a good question cooler than normal across ireland scotland warmer than normal down across uh, spain france extending the southern uk in the central europe much of europe according to the jams tape looks rather cool indeed so overall a drier more settled quieter september coming up for the uk ireland and western europe but i need to emphasize this folks it will still be you'll still have your cool and wet days but i think the overall theme is going to be more settled cooler weather in areas which have been hot and dry uh, where we've seen old time records fall this summer and turning wetter I think as we continue to progress through the autumn months uh, October and particularly November looks uh, rather wet that's it for today thanks for watching do check out the website for more information and uh, the autumn and September outlook and uh, give marfoganweather.com a try if you haven't already done so for as little as 69 pence the summer has been accurate. Last winter was accurate. I'm already building my winter forecast for this year. Do check it out. Have a great one. Bye for now.